<laughs> That's sick. Yeah, yeah. So it is five gigahertz. Two and a half gig here on the cheap. How much was this one? Is this thing any good? Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Alex and welcome to TechFlow. I'm very excited for today because as you can see on the table, we have a few boxes. Nothing out of the ordinary so far. However, I think we have a few hidden gems here because all of this is from AliExpress. And it's all right up my street because this is a load of networking gear, all under 100 pounds. And we need to see if it's actually any good and suss out what is worth buying. Now, as we go through this, I'm going to let you know the prices that these items were purchased at. However, I know that AliExpress are having, on the day this video goes live, a big save event. So you may be able to find some of this stuff or a lot of things on AliExpress a hell of a lot cheaper than they normally are. So we have what I perceive to be a dual band wireless range extender. How much was this one? This one was £10.64. Yeah, so on the side here, it does say 2.4G and 5G. So if this is actually a 5G range extender for around a tenner, you really can't go wrong. I assume this one is going to be the most simple one. Okay, we already have a Europe adapter, which we're going to have to deal with as we're in the UK. And then you also get a SIM card removal tool for some bizarre reason, probably to reset this device. And this is it. It's fairly lightweight. We've got a port on there, four little mini antennas, which seem like, yeah, she can move these about for a better signal. Now this thing could be a wireless access point as well as a repeater. I'm not gonna know until we take this over to the DIY set and test this thing out. Right, so I've whacked out the Euro adapter, as you can see here, and I've got this thing on, and it seems to have some flashing lights. So that would indicate that it has power. Now, as you can see, I've patched into it with a patch cable and a USB-C adapter. On the bottom of this device, there was an IP address. I've navigated to that, and this is what I can see. AP settings lets you change the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz and add some encryption. And then the quick setup basically scans for SSIDs, for you to connect to. So let's try and connect this to a five gigahertz network and see what its performance is like for a tenor. My Mars Media Network here at channel 48 is a five gigahertz network. So do we click that? Now it's asking for my password, EXT for extension. So this is the wireless network that this device should be giving off. After the setting is completed, please observe the signal indicator. If it lights up, this means the relay is successful. So it looks like there's a light on the top that says extender. I assume it's literally just lit up. So if I turn off the Wi-Fi on my laptop, because I'm patched into this device, does that mean I now have internet access? Google. Huh. I'm on the internet through this device. Right, so let's go to speed test and see what this thing can do. It seems pretty nippy. And okay, it's topping out at around 90 meg. And I think I have a theory as to why that is. And that's because the LAN port on this device will be a 10100 port, not a 101000 port. So a gig, it'll be limited to 100 meg, which we can see both ways here. So connecting via Wi-Fi could be faster than connecting via this LAN port. However, what you have to remember with a wireless repeater is your speeds will always be halved because this thing is not only picking up a signal, but then relaying that signal as well. So let's disconnect from here and try to connect to the EXT extension network that this is giving off. And here we go. Let's join the 5G EXT network. Can we get to Google? Okay, it's on. Speed test. Like it's really quite nippy. Go, right, let's see. Let's see what this thing can do. That's sick. Yeah, yeah. So it is five gigahertz because you just wouldn't be able to pull these types of speeds on 2.4 gigahertz. So technically what we have here is a wireless repeater that works on 2.4 and five gigahertz. We're getting around 13 milliseconds ping here. I was about to say it's quite fast, but I wouldn't want a game on it. But I mean, as long as there's no data traveling over it, the ping times are fairly respectable. Overall, for a tenor, bar the fact it has a European plug on it, this thing's a W, quite a big one. So I kind of remember what we bought. I'm not 100% sure what this one is. I think it could be a network switch, but not any normal network switch. We're talking two and a half gig here on the cheap. 
How much was this one? This was 20 pounds and 20 pence. We did a two and a half gig video about a month or so ago, and I purchased one off Amazon, which I thought was a good price. This is 20, less than half the price. And to be fair, seems pretty heavy. Five two and a half gig ports, and then a 10 gig port, which is a full blown, that is an SFP port, a 10 gig SFP for 20 quid. Talk about two and a half G coming down in price. And then a very nice little power brick with a UK plug, nice. So two and a half gig switch with a 10 gig SFP port. Is this thing any good? Now, the way I'm gonna test this is by accessing some files that I've got on a NAS in the studio. And the house is linked to the studio via an SFP port. So we can go ahead and test out the SFP port. The NAS has a two and a half gig ethernet port on it, so that should be able to plug straight into one of these supposedly two and a half gig ports. And in the house, I should be able to access the NAS from my computer at two and a half gig. So I'm thinking for 20 quid. <laughs> if this works, I don't really know what to say. I mean, it's fairly simple. All we're trying to do is shift more than a thousand meg of data. Okay, so I have just shy of a 1.5 gig file here. I'm gonna drag this to the desktop and then quickly open up Task Manager. Quick, quick, quick! And we are at 1.4 gig. In fact, here's some footage from a previous video using a two and a half gig switch that was more than double the price and the performance is basically identical. So it works, 20 quid. Now, I think I remember what is in this next one and I'm really excited about it. At the start of this year, we made a video on the technology that is inside of this box, and it's called Wi-Fi Halo. Range is more what you're after when you're deploying a 900 megahertz point-to-point -point link. You're after long distance, and even going through objects like trees and buildings, and still getting a signal through them. How much were these off AliExpress? 57 pounds and five pence. Why is there three? Oh, wow. So in the kit that I previously bought, it came with a sender and a receiver for about 110 pounds. This was like 50 odd quid, and here you can see we have a sender, and it comes with two separate receivers. So I'll be interested to know if both of these were. Now this one's got me really excited. I don't quite know what to expect. Let's go and get this thing set up and see what it can do. We may have to venture out of the studio for this one. <laughs> Okay, so we're probably about 750 meters away from my house. Between us is a football field and a tiny little field. Now plug the devices into the power socket in the back of the car and we'll just stick this device up here. So bear in mind, between us right now and the studio, there is two fields and the sending unit is literally just sat on the table inside of the office, which is obviously brick and windows. So let's plug it into the ethernet here. And then I also bought the two and a half gig switch out just to demonstrate that we could potentially make a little network out here using the internet that's back in the studio. Okay, so now if we take a patch cable into our switch, which is connected to the other side of this link and then go into the laptop, it's on. Now I know for a fact this speed test is gonna be awful. In fact, it might not even run because these devices have not been deployed correctly. The ideal location for something like this is to get it high up on top of a vantage point so that there's less in between. So as you can see, yeah, it's just died. So it went up to about half a meg and then dies. But as I mentioned earlier, if you want us to do like a line of sight test with these and properly test them out, let us know with a comment section down below. I just wanted to prove that this stuff is actually working for myself. Stuff that we purchased for basically half price off of AliExpress. So we have our last of four products here. This one actually by a reputable brand. You guys may have seen these before. They make a load of products, but are mainly known for their travel routers. This being the king of the lineup, the AX version, AX3000 Wi-Fi 6 router. Now I couldn't find this one on Amazon, but to pick it up from a UK based company, you're looking anywhere from 100 to 130 pounds. Go on, Jack, give us the price for this one. 58 pounds and 70 p. 58 pounds and 70p. Granted, you have to wait for these things to arrive. Like this isn't next day delivery, but for the savings and if you're not in a rush, and saying that, it only took a week to arrive anyway. 
but what do we actually get in the box is the main question. And this all looks completely legit, to be fair. Here's the device itself. I'm really excited to use this little thing. So this is the little device. It's designed very small to chuck in the back of your bag. It's powered via five volts and three amps, a USB-C connection. So it could be powered from your laptop. Two and a half gig WAN port on here and then a LAN port and then a USB 3 port, I assume for chucking some media on here so you can share it over a network. Ventilation on the bottom supports Wi-Fi 6. And obviously this is a travel router. So it has a load of features on here, like you can install a VPN. Now in the rest of the box, we get a USB-C power adapter and some worldly adapter and then also a tiny little flat LAN cable to get you up and running. Right, let's go and see if this thing actually works. Because if it does, we've saved a load of money. So, now for our big name brand. This travel router, I've had these things on my radar for a very, very long time. Let's see if it actually works. So I'm going to use the included power cable that was supplied. So we have a Little light on the front there, which would indicate that we're receiving power. Okay, so we've just picked up an IP. Okay, we're on, we've got the splash page, let's click next. It's asking for an admin password. Now, as far as use cases for this, you could plug in a LAN connection and have this thing acting as a simple Wi-Fi 6 wireless access point. VPN, I think, is gonna be the main one. I use WireGuard, which they have this, can be a WireGuard client or a WireGuard server. They've also got OpenVPN and a normal VPN dashboard. Wow, this is quite extensive. It has a multi-WAN. This is a serious, serious bit of kit. So there's three separate ways you can give this thing an internet connection. You can plug directly into it with a LAN cable. You can plug it into your phone via USB and take its 4G signal and make a Wi-Fi hotspot off of that with this device. Or you could simply use it as a wireless repeater. And what I like to see here is there is an option to not only fail over. So if you have two active internet connections, one of them goes down, it will just use the one that works. Or you can load balance, which basically means means you've got two slower connections, you put them together and the router will decide what traffic goes over what network. So it's now searching for wireless networks. And here we go, it's displayed a list of wireless networks. Let's just connect to this one. Now at the moment, this currently isn't being set up as a wireless repeater. What this is doing is being its own router. So it's not necessarily repeating a Wi-Fi signal, it's just picking up a Wi-Fi signal to use that as its internet source. So technically now, if I go to Nperf, that's mental. That is absolutely mental. So this is definitely Wi-Fi 6 because you wouldn't get those speeds over Wi-Fi 5. What is happening in this scenario is this is picking up an internet connection, a wireless one, and then giving me that over this Ethernet link to the laptop, which you can see these speeds displayed now. I think this is the one that's blown my mind the most because this is a big name brand that is sold in a lot of shops. It's not fake, it does not in any way, shape or form feel secondhand or refurbished. Again, this is another massive, massive W. But the premise of this video was to see what we could get off of AliExpress and to see what the product quality was like. Speaking of getting products off AliExpress, we also picked up this keyboard, which was really inexpensive. How much? Uh, 36 pounds something. 36 pounds something. Uh, just give this thing a listen. It's really not a bad mechanical keyboard and for 36 quid, I wanted to give it a go and yet again, impressed. A fairly decent experience on AliExpress. And like I've seen firsthand with this GLI net travel router, these things have been on my radar for years. You really can get genuine brands at unbeatable prices on AliExpress. And also another thing to note as well, I think a lot of people think that maybe they will receive refurbished gear or second-hand gear. Doesn't seem like any of this has been touched or used by anybody previous. It all seems like brand new stuff. Now, as I mentioned at the start of the video, when we got these items, we didn't take advantage of the big save, which is now on. So you can probably, in fact, I'm sure you can pick up what we picked up on this table today, even cheaper than what we got it for, which is what I want to touch on next. So we totted up the prices from UK reputable resellers. What were we looking at for all this stuff? Everything on the table, we're looking at around 310 quid. Around 310 pounds for all of these four items. And we got it for? 146 pounds and 59p. 146 and 59p. So that is a saving of ding, ding, ding. 
It's on the screen now. I mean, that is nuts. The only downside is the shipping time. But if you can wait a week, which I'm sure most people can if you're going to be literally getting the items for half price. Now, if you've made it this far into the video, well done. We've got something nice for you guys in the description. On top of the big save that's already happening, we have some codes which will give you down in the description some further money off your products on top of the big save that's already happening. So there you guys go. That's been our first AliExpress video, checking out some hidden networking gems. My name's been Alex, this has been TechFlow, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.